Are you ready to discover the might of the United States Navy? From aircraft carriers to stealth drones, we'll unveil the secrets behind the world's most advanced fleet. But that's not all. We'll also reveal why no government dares to challenge the power of the land of the free. Don't miss this opportunity to witness the true strength of the United States Navy. The world's naval forces boast a wide range of capabilities, but none can match the sheer size and scope of the United States Navy. With a fleet of over 300 ships and a wide variety of missions and areas of responsibility, the U.S. Navy is a true global force. Whether operating in the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Mediterranean, Persian Gulf, or even the Horn of Africa, the United States Navy is always on the move, carrying out vital missions to protect American interests and ensure global stability. And as the United States Navy continues to grow and evolve, the future looks even brighter for this powerful and essential branch of the military. With plans to increase the number of operating ships to 305 by 2021 and eventually reaching 355 ships by 2049, the U.S. Navy is committed to remaining the world's premier naval force for many years to come. One of the most iconic symbols of the U.S. Navy are its aircraft carriers. These massive steel vessels are the backbone of the Navy's power projection capabilities and are a true marvel of modern engineering. Whether patrolling the seas or launching airstrikes, these carriers are a constant reminder of the U.S. Navy's strength and capabilities. The aircraft carrier is a formidable aspect of the United States Navy's power. It serves as a deterrent to hostile forces and allows for swift deployment of aircraft. The Gerald R. Ford, one of the Navy's most advanced and latest aircraft carriers, entered service in 2017. The ship is a true behemoth measuring 1,106 feet long and 256 feet wide, weighing approximately 100,000 tons. It is as tall as a 12-story building. With the capability of carrying up to 90 aircraft units and helicopters, an expenditure of over $17.5 billion of budget funds, and more than 757 liters of paint during its construction, the Gerald R. Ford is a state-of-the-art vessel. It can travel anywhere in the world, minimizing dependence on not only grounded U.S. military bases, but foreign military bases as well. The aircraft carrier wing is a formidable force, capable of eliminating hundreds of targets on a daily basis for extended periods of time. The Navy plans to have 12 aircraft carriers by 2049, further strengthening its naval advantage. The Gerald R. Ford, one of the Navy's newest carriers, can carry advanced aircraft such as the F-35, the F-A-18E, and the F-A-18F Super Hornets, as well as the E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Fighters. Another important aircraft in the Navy's arsenal is the EA-18G Growler, an electronic attack aircraft that serves as a successor to the F-A-18F Super Hornet. The Growler is equipped with an ANALQ-99 radar signal suppression unit, making it an effective tool against enemy communication systems. It can suppress enemy air defenses, jam ground communications and radars, and strike them with anti-radar harm missiles. It also has a classified unconventional maneuver known as the electronic attack. The USS Attack Submarine is a formidable force in the depths of the ocean. With a length of 377 feet and a diameter of 34 feet, it displaces a massive 7,800 tons of water. The Virginia-class submarines are considered to be the best fourth-generation multi-purpose submarines in the U.S. Navy. The Seawolf-class submarines were too expensive, with each unit costing around $4.4 billion, making the Virginia-class the perfect replacement. The Virginia-class submarine project has been so successful that the United States Navy has already received 21 such submarines to date. The project is projected to have a total of 30 submarines in total, which will be distributed over five blocks. The USS SSN-795 is set to launch this year in parallel to its predecessor, the SSN-794. Each Virginia-class vessel is armed with 12 vertical launchers for Tomahawk missiles and four 533mm torpedo tubes for launching MK-48 ADCAP homing torpedoes mines, and underwater unmanned vehicles. The U.S. Navy's advanced submarine fleet is a formidable force to be reckoned with, 
The Virginia-class attack submarine is a top-of-the-line fourth-generation vessel. Equipped with cutting-edge technology such as advanced sonars and ESM sensors for immediate detection of enemy signals. Additionally, these submarines are armed with Tomahawk missiles and capable of launching MK-48 ADCAP torpedoes. The Ohio-class SSGN submarines, refitted with a cost of $4 billion, are also a major concern for potential adversaries as they are equipped with 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles and capable of deploying special operations teams via airlock chambers. These submarines are a testament to the United States Navy's superior technology and capabilities. All of these are modernized submarines that can accommodate 66 people for short-term missions. They've replaced their nuclear missiles with Block 3 Tomahawk and Block 4 Tomahawk missiles. These missiles are equipped with multiple navigation methods and can target using an internal navigation system, TURCOM DISMAC, and standard GPS. The Block 4E missiles have the ability to perform reconnaissance, estimate damage, assist in delivering critical hits to enemy targets, and even redirect missiles to another target. And a huge plus, this version is cost-effective. The R. Lee Burke class of destroyers is a crown jewel of the U.S. Navy. Known for being well-balanced and efficient, a total of 89 ships are set to be produced, with 68 already in active service and 6 currently being built. They make up one-fifth of the entire U.S. Navy. The Aegis system is at the core of the R. Lee Burke's combat power, responsible for guiding anti-aircraft missiles and coordinating defensive actions of the entire naval surface group. The ships are also able to fire at targets over great distances using data from the E-2D Hawkeye aircraft. The R. Lee Burke class of destroyers are well-balanced and efficient ships, equipped with evolved Sea Sparrow SM-2, SM-6, and SM-3 missiles, ANSQQ-8915 integrated undersea warfare systems, ANSQR-19 towed array sonar, ANSQS-53 hull-mounted sonar, and six MK-46 torpedoes. They have strong anti-air and anti-submarine capabilities, but weak anti-ship characteristics due to the near-obsolete Harpoon missiles. The reason for this is that the primary threat was seen as being from aircraft and missile attacks, rather than those from other ships at the time of their creation. The R. Lee Burke-class ships are highly capable, boasting a 5-inch cannon, 25mm cannon, 50 caliber machine guns, and a Phalanx 1B weapon system for anti-ship and coastal bombardment. It's certainly capable of defending itself, whether by air, against enemy missiles, helicopters, UAVs, or even small boats. These ships were commissioned in 1991 and have a projected service life of 40 years, but funding for extending their surface life was not included in the 2008-2009 budget request. The U.S. Navy is also actively testing combat lasers on various ships, with a directed energy weapon law being successfully tested on the USS Ponce in 2014, and this technology is expected to be fully integrated in the future. The ships are truly exemplary in terms of conventional weapons. However, Lockheed Martin is already engaged in developing future anti-ship missiles for the fleet, including for the Arleigh Burke. The Arleigh Burke class of destroyers are being planned to test laser weapons, specifically on the USS Preble. The tests will improve the development of powerful laser weapons that can be installed on U.S. Navy vessels. These lasers can be used to detonate explosive ordnance and fuel reserves on enemy ships making the ships a formidable nightmare for anyone hostile to the American Navy. However, it is worth noting that the Geneva Convention forbids the aiming of lasers at people. As the sun sets on the horizon, the question lingers in the air. Would anyone dare to challenge the might of the United States Navy? Only time will tell. But one thing is for certain, we'll be here to bring you the latest developments and analysis. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, we'll see you soon.